Welcome home. Oh, I gotta turn off this little thing there. They're all right. They like to talk to you when you start these things. Hey, welcome home to First Christian Church of Decatur. Today is March 23rd, 2022. I'm James Brewer Calvert, and my pronouns are he, his, and him. It's a delight to welcome you. And my computer screen is jumping all over the place. Let me get this set up. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Technology is so much fun. Oh, it's been a beautiful day. And a uh, little rain, little sun, a little everything. And I hope that you've had a blessed day and that God is good with you. And uh, it's an amazing experience to be connected with the Holy. So welcome, welcome, and uh, let's just get going. First of all, I want to thank everybody for um, your comments and, and calls and thoughts about last week uh, when we talked about um, you know, anonymous letters was the lead-in to really talk about that um, the the gift of of faith and belief and thinking and the many avenues there are to God, and so um, we put it out there and and it's been incredible the folks who've responded and really take this to heart in so many ways. So thank you, thank you, and may God's blessings and peace be with you. Um, we're going to talk about science and spirituality tonight. So uh, I'm going to tell you a story, and then we're going to talk about what's going to happen here at First Christian Church tomorrow night. But first, the story. The story is is that in um, 19, uh, 20, <laughs> aging myself, in 2016, 2017, and, um, our church was approached by Mesa Saleda, who is the executive director of the Atlanta Science Festival. The uh, Mesa is a PhD. She's a local resident in Oakhurst, and she is an incredible human being. She and her staff have been directing the Atlanta Science Festival for many years now. They have free events and workshops and lectures that encourage and engage people from all walks of life and all ages from all the corners of our city to connect with science. Um, just the, the many ways and avenues that you can connect with science. Um, and she came by the church back in 2016-17 because she was looking for a place to have an office. Darren Wong of the book festival Decatur Book Festival was housed here at First Christian Church and had an office space and he suggested to her that we might be a good host for her. So we got together and met um, and he had told her that our hospitality is real, that um, we're not looking for tenants, we're looking for partners. And you know, flattery will get you everywhere. So she came by and we did the walking tour, I gave her the, the um, the nickel tour of the church and we talked about her science festival and I talked about how our church celebrates that intersection of faith and reason. That we tell people don't check your brains at the door. That we encourage people to um, explore and use their intellectual curiosity to recognize that God gives you both empathy for um, community service and, and, and love in the context of worship and praise and connecting with one another, but also a passion for justice and a passion for um, making a difference in the world. And that Christ models how to use these gifts to make a difference. Um, so she got to hear my spiel and I heard her spiel and uh, we really clicked and it was a beautiful exchange. So, it, but I cut her a deal. I said, you can use a room here. We have a very modest utility offset fee, and you'd be happy, we'd be happy to have you as a, a partner. However, in exchange for hosting the Atlanta Science Festival staff in our building, I wanted her to let us have one evening in the Atlanta Science Festival, which runs for two weeks in March every year, to have an evening where we could have a panel discussion on science and spirituality. That we would get the theologians and the scientists and line them up and have a conversation about that intersection of science and spirituality or where they divert or where they overlap, what's that Venn diagram look like? And so she agreed, we shook hands, 
we're off and running. So we have hosted here, um, I think this will be our fifth. So we've had four science and spirituality events. Um, we lost one year because of COVID, but then last year we did it on in Zoom. And so that was interesting. So this year we're back to live in person. It's tomorrow night at seven o'clock. So Thursday, March 24th, 7 p.m. in our sanctuary will be a panel of scientists and theologians. And it's also gonna be shown live on Facebook. So you can click onto our, our Facebook site and, and watch it there. Uh, I know a lot of folks like to go to church in their pajamas which is fine. So if you got your PJs on tomorrow night and uh, you don't want to watch Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, want to tape those and come with us, or you can watch it some other time at your convenience because it'll be posted on our site. This year, we have an amazing panel. Oh, man. Oh, man. We had a, a test run the other night and it was electric. Electric. The, the scientists we've got coming, the theologians we've got coming are incredible. I'm going to tell you who they are, but I was going to say in advance, these folks are, are crackerjack. They are smart, they're bright, they're passionate about their connection with the holy and their connections with science. And so it's an amazing um, lineup. So we have Dr. Erica Holloman Hill. She is co-developing and managing the implementation of an environmental justice program for the West Atlanta Watershed Alliance. Wow. Wow. She is the CEO for Aika Solutions Incorporated, and she has an amazing husband and four incredible children, and they are living in her childhood home in East Point, Georgia. Um, let me tell you, man, she is, she is a spitfire. She is She's got something to say, and she's got something to learn, and she's got something to share. You will enjoy listening to her tomorrow night. We're also joined by Rabbi Dan Medwin, and he is the co-director of Six Points Sci Tech Academy, which is the premier Jewish STEM overnight camp. Having a mother who's a rabbi and a father who's an engineer, Rabbi Dan has spent his life at the intersection of Judaism and science, technology, engineering, and math. He, he's got it all going on. Um, he's written books. He's involved in the temple in downtown Atlanta. His wife is also a rabbi, and they have three incredible children. Uh, I think they, they live in the North Decatur area. So it for, won't be a long commute. Dan is wicked smart and very bright and very passionate about his faith and his work with science, technology, education, and math. Joining us will be Pastor Paul Turner of General Spirit Christian Church. So General Spirit Christian Church and First Christian Church of Decatur co-host this event together. So Pastor Paul and I will be um, participating. I'm the moderator. I just get to ask the questions and get it going. I think tomorrow night, all I have to do is say, hello, here they are, and bang, they're going to go. It's going to be an amazing experience. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope that you can join us and um, continue to um, be brave, continue to be smart, continue to be faithful, continue to be engaged in the community. Uh, we've had, um, I'm going to shift gears here, we've had um, some um, sharings from other churches in the area that are connected with um, folks in the Ukraine. So be looking for some emails and, and ways that we're going to share with you uh, in the next couple days, ways that we as a congregation can be engaged and supportive of our neighbors in the Ukraine who are just being pummeled and um, trying to escape, trying to get to Poland, trying to get away, but also staying and fighting. Um, and so there are ways we can connect with them. There are things we can do. There are ways to, to love on them and to lift them up, um, whether it's financial or with um, 
clothing or with prayer, we can support them. So I'm going to be sending out a message soon and getting that word out to you about ways that we as a congregation and a community of faith can be supportive and, and um, yoked, united with those who are being just viciously slaughtered. And um, there's no there's no rhyme or reason to what Vladimir Putin is doing. Um, there's not any um, common sense here. It's just brutal. It's just brutal. And and so my brothers and sisters, let's uh, be strong. Let's support our our neighbors, and let's be engaged. So with that, I wish you well. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. And may God's blessings and peace be with you. Take care. Good night.